So I tried to straighten this rod as much as possible. You guys know in my last video I showed you that it was bent. So this is a temporary fix. I, I still haven't decided if I'm going to get an engine or a uh, push rod for it. So I'm going to put this in and uh, see if the engine comes back to life. Uh, I know all you guys that watch me, you guys watch Redbeard. Um, Redbeard's Garage. And I got a little ticked off on his recent video that he called people like me that don't want to remove the governor on their engines two years old, two year olds. So I got a little bit ticked off and I com commented it on that video. Um, like honestly, I don't have engines uh, given to me to do all kinds of that stuff, like to remove the governor and blow it up and if I blow it up, they'll send me another motor and, and all that, right? So that's why I, I would advise anybody that's starting off, uh, don't mess with the governor. This is what happened when I messed with the governor. And uh, I'd advise you guys not to do it. It's your choice. Like, honestly, go for it if you think you, could, you can get away with it. But um, I wouldn't advise it. And yeah, I got a little bit ticked off of, of him calling me a two-year-old. Because uh, not wanting to remove the governor. He didn't actually call me a two-year-old. He called people in general that didn't don't that are afraid of removing the governor two-year-old anyway enough of that I'm gonna put this back together and everything and uh, yeah start it and see if she's alive okay um, I went out and I tried to find one of these clips Home, Home Depot didn't have them um, I can probably get them online but I'm not going to receive them for a uh, couple of days, probably. So, I went at the ghetto way. And this might look ghetto to you guys. What I did was weld a little washer on the end of the pin. And this will go in. And then I can put this clip on the other end. So, yeah, like, I, I, honestly, I don't like doing ghetto stuff, but sometimes you have to compromise, and um, I want to get this thing running, so I want to make sure there is, that there is nothing else wrong with the motor. So, we're going to put this in, and uh, go from there and see if this thing starts up. Okay guys, I went on the internet again and I searched for the gap on these valves, like... So I'm gonna set mine at 5, like it's... Uh, I don't understand, like you get so many different... I, I watch different channels and everything, one channel is like uh, 3, the other one 4, the other one 5, the other one 6. One says set one at 7 and the other valve at 8, like... So I'm gonna go to five and uh, see what happens. Okay guys, I got it all together. Valves are, um, are gauged at five. Uh, yeah, I know. I don't like that little ghetto uh, welder either, but it'll work for now. Uh, I just wanna see if nothing else is wrong with the engine for now. I'm going to put the plug in, the cover on, and we're going to see if this thing fires up. I'm hoping. I ordered the 208 engine anyway, just in case. I can always build um, another mini bike with it, if this one's still working fine. Okay, guys. Cross your fingers. Haley, if you're watching, pray for me.
Don't try that at home, guys. Anyway, it's running. Uh, I'm happy with it. I'm going to remove the tank and uh, de-tweak the, the governor. I'm not keeping the governor tweaked. Uh, what I'll do tomorrow is I'm going to open the valve cover again. Make sure that the valves are, are um, gapped correctly again. I'm going to let it run a little bit more tonight. And tomorrow, Haley, I'm coming to pick you up. If you guys out there don't know who Haley is, check out check out Adra's uh, channel and uh, him on Facebook. A-T-Z-A-R. He's got a beautiful little girl. I don't know if it's his mistress or girlfriend, but he won't tell me. Anyway, Haley, I'm bringing a bottle of Crown Royal for you tomorrow. David Johnson, Atzar, and those guys that uh, subscribe to my channel and comment on my channel. Cheers, guys.